this is something that potentially could be bigger than us. Since five months, both me and Victor have been working full-time with Midday. Self-founded, we are free right now because we are not done with the version one yet. And we're going to start to charge money in Q1 next year. And we're going to launch invoicing, which is the last feature, a big feature, of course. I just want to run my business, earn money and be on top of how it's actually do. So we use open banking uh, in the whole Europe, US, Canada, and soon Brazil. Get your transactions, get your balances, uh, burn rate, what you're spending on. You get notification when you have new transactions, when you get paid and those kind of things where you can basically reconcile everything for your accountant or export that to your accounting software to save a lot of time. And that is thanks to the inbox feature. And the inbox is basically, we give you one unique email address uh, where you can send in things to, for example, your subscription. It's sent in here. And then we extract the information, match that against the transaction automatically. And uh, then it's just a matter of exporting that uh, to your accounting software or your accountant. Uh, so that saves a lot of time. Plus on that, every file that comes in, it's searchable. So if your computer breaks or something, you can search for your Apple invoice or your apps, Apple receipt, and you have it already in midday, right? And then you have transactions that I mentioned. So that's all my transactions. And you can see this is uh, already matched with the invoice. This is ready to be exported. So you can select these kind of things. And in this case, I'm going to download a zip file with the CSV and all the matched PDFs. So it's already done basically. We have a time tracker. Usually as a freelancer, you track time or days or something on a product. And then in the end, you want to send an invoice for that to actually earn the money. So this is just recently updated from a lot of feedback from our uh, users. So you can drag like multi days here and then you can add, uh, I worked eight hours and then the project midday in this example, and then you add that. And then in the end of the month or whenever you can convert this to an invoice. Uh, and this is actually the last feature which we're working on. Uh, so this is a uh, local host just to be fair, this coming out in probably two weeks for early adopters. Uh, so you then can then send the invoices to your customers and you got to get it uh, auto matched to the transaction because we, we know when it comes in. So it's going to be uh, marked as paid. You can send reminders, all those kind of things. And it's a pretty neat uh, experience to create invoices also. Like everything is editable We're using Stephen Tay's uh, uh, editor here. So yeah, a lot of fun things. You get this kind you get thanks. You get this kind of payment score based on your customers, how good they are actually paying you. So you know, like, yeah, I really need to send this reminder fee or something to this customer uh, to fix this number. So you're always on track of how your business is doing, not only financially, but I mean, for all the aspects of running it. The vault that I mentioned, everything ends up here. You can drag and drop your contracts. We can classify that uh, and give that a tag. So this is a contract and it's, it's really nice for here example. You can see like, this is a tag that you get and then you can just search for like, show me the contract from customer X. Uh, so you're always on top of things that you may need. Like, oh yeah, I, I have 12 months contract, for example, and you can find that, yeah. Those kind of things. And last week we launched our first app in our app store or apps, which is a Slack app. This basically gives you one notifications for new transactions and new invoices, but also you give, you, you're given an assistant within Slack. They just recently launched their own assistant uh, button. So you can talk with me the, directly from, from Slack, but also on the phone. For example, the workflow is when you get a new transaction, you can answer with a PDF. And that is automatically a match against that transaction. So it's concluding the whole flow basically. And that's why we have this circle on the website, like running a business is basically a circle. You're doing everything off each, each other, like uh, be on top of the finance and uh, accounting, uh, pre-accounting pre things, uh, sending uh, like uh, tracking hours, sending invoicing, getting paid, storing files, and then you start over again. Uh, in Sweden, you usually do it every month or every third month. So we're going to automate all these kind of hurdles and, and bring that into one flow, basically one system. Yeah. Because these can be contributed exactly. by the community. And then even yeah. all the bank connectors so that when they, wherever you live in the world, you can run your business seamlessly with midday. That's also yet exactly. another part of it. And I just want to highlight at this point again, that this was built by a single developer who was working part-time and only has been working full-time the past few months, who is self-financing this. And anyone can go and check out the code and 
self-host it and, and use it for free today. This just is blowing my mind, honestly. And it's thousands of businesses already using this, right? Yeah, so that's actually, we, we started this in one year ago, working full-time on other assignments until May this year. Of course, and we're going to iterate together with our users and get gathering feedback, probably within uh, the end of the month. And based on the feedback, we're going to just iterate and refine the product until uh, Q1 next year. Uh, and until then, you're actually getting this deal of 49 bucks per month for for everything. We're probably going to end up uh, a little bit higher than that uh, in uh, next year when we're starting to charge. But yeah, it's it's super fun. Yeah, we're spending our own money, but uh, we think this is the right choice right now. Uh, and both me and Victor, I think it shows. We, I mean, we, we truly have our time of our lives. We, we felt that we are doing, one, something that we really, really love, and two, something that we really, really need, uh, especially when we run our own consultant firms. So we know the space and we're learning a lot from our users. I mean, you can, you can book a, a meeting, a 50 minute meeting with me, like with Cal uh, on our website and people are doing that. And they gave us these great ideas and we find the patterns in those ideas and then we're doing it for them. And that gives us core users that loves our product from basically day one, instead of working in stealth mode for one year and say, here we are, we are ready now. And nobody knows about us. So. I think it just makes sense for us to one, work in public, work together with users and say like, hey, we are in Ibiza. Things aren't done yet, but provide us with feedback. I mean, you have the button here, send us your feedback. We're gonna listen for sure. You can, people that answer our like uh, weekly emails or monthly emails, we're reading every, every one of them. We're answering as soon as we can because these are our guiding stars. I also feel like as a team ourselves, like we feel kind of like close to you in the sense that we're just two uh, co-founders, you know, bootstrapped in Europe, only one of them codes. We're probably like close in age too. And, and we also like started building Algora to address a personal need, which is, oh, we're a small yeah. team and we need help. We cannot yet, you know, hire full-time people to help us out. How could we like, you know, press a button and someone awesome helps us out. And that turned yeah. out to be the bounties. And then, you know, we, yeah. we're actually, I don't know if, well, I'm supposed to say this, but we're working on a new version that will be open source. So the Bounties platform will be open source, covering bounties, projects, jobs, and basically it's going to be an open source Upwork alternative. Uh, and mm. so this is the first time I guess to say nice. this on air, but it's coming <laughs> soon. And, and again, it started from a personal problem. We're going to continue dog fooding it and staying yeah. close to the customer, hearing what they need and like building for them. And I think, you know, the sustainability of it, like is a natural, is a natural outcome of working like that. I'm sure it will be for you. I know you have been doing free, but the the proper pricing or sort of like a paid version is coming up in the next months. And yeah. I think the conversion is going to be fantastic because this is tons of value that you have already given people, you know, for free. Yeah. I mean, even though, I mean, we are building a product that, that we see really have a purpose uh, because as I mentioned before, we, we needed this. And of course, pricing is the hardest thing you can do in terms of running a company or a SaaS product. So of course we, we're giving, we're giving, we're giving ourselves away really, really cheap and see if that is possible. And then we're going to raise the price for the version one. So yeah, if you, if you trust our process, uh, feel free to sign up and uh, grow with us basically. Uh, but of course we're going after freelancers. And I mean, there are some huge freelancer businesses nowadays there. I mean, everybody's going from being employees to, to do their own thing. It's a really good shift that we're trying to really help out with, uh, like we've got to be with the system that I want to use. Totally. Totally. What, what do you think is the role of uh, AI in, you know, this new phenomenon of more people starting their own businesses and running a business that some years ago, it took like five more people to yeah. run it. So, and, and do you use it? Like what's your favorite tool? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I probably would need one more engineer if I didn't have cursor. It's a mental thing more than coding thing because I get the help I need to just iterating on a thought or a solution. And I think it's, it's, of course, it's good to have knowledge of programming before, but that gives me the extra like senior engineer on my back that says, yeah, this looks great. Uh, th this is going to work pretty good in the long run. Uh, and that means I'm more confident, confident in my solutions, which means I can move much faster. And yeah, I, for me, it makes total sense to, to use something like cursor. And, and while we were speaking, we pulled up uh, this directory of cons or, uh, of course, are like prompts and like setup that you can have. So we're just like shuffling yeah. through it right now. And, and that was like, that was very popular on, on Twitter. I feel like it was shared a lot. We just showed it on, on Hacker News. So tell us about that. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, that's actually when I moved down to France. Felt, uh, both me and Victor felt like, oh, let's do a weekend thing. And I just installed Curse, and then I got blown away. Actually, uh, that's quite uncommon in in tech world for me. Like, I'm usually keeping my tools, and I'm too grumpy to change. But I, I jumped on Curse, and I got blown away. Uh, and that made me realize. Uh, I think it was Josh uh, who builds maybe that sh- uh, shared his like Curse rules. That yeah, gave yeah. me the idea, okay, can I find this uh, like predefined somewhere? But I, I couldn't. They have a forum where I like uh, search for like uh, specific things. And then, yeah, then we just throw up the website. I think we, we had something in three, three hours and then we did a post and then it went total crazy. It still has a lot of, a lot of uh, visitors and people really like it. So now it's a self-living thing. It's open source. People do contributions, adding rules. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really fun. Super cool. Um, when you collaborate with uh, Victor, who you said leads design and the design is like, oh my God, as one of, one of the, the, the product is already fantastic, but that design just makes it a pleasure <laughs> to use, I feel like. So how do you guys collaborate yeah. on that? Like do you use Figma or does he go into yeah, the yeah. dev workflow at all? No, it's, but he actually will uh, jump into, thanks to Curse, so he's uh, yeah. starting to, because he's, he's really technical, actually. I mean, uh, he's a great designer for sure, but how we are working is like, we have been working together for several years at Klarna, but also different projects. We don't need to iron out all the details, which means we can really fly because we're thinking like one person. And together with Cursor, I mean, that's like we're working multiply with like he has a design uh, direction and we're using Shad CN components and we know like, okay, we can apply these components. He don't need to do all the, the flows in Figma, for example. So Victor is doing the, a beautiful design, but the UX and the actual implementation, we are doing that in code also thanks to Vercel with like comments, he's sharing a preview environment, he logs in, we're talking on the phone all the time and like, ah, oh, but can we move this button to the left instead? I mean, those kind of things are so much faster than just doing in code and nowadays. So that's our workflow basically. And uh, we live and breathe uh, like product design and, and midday. So we, we're doing everything all the time. <laughs> Love it. And it shows. So you, you talked about how you collaborate with Victor. Uh, you talked about like all these social media activity that we see uh, behind me, what, what your workflow is there. You mentioned that you're bootstrapped, like want to double click on that. Like what's the experience effectively like? Cause you know, it's, it's hard, but it's, it also has its positive thing. So like Maybe we get an extra comment here for other people who may consider this as a viable option for them to run their new project, their new startup. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it's, it's, it's by product. Uh, I mean, it depends of course, uh, mm-hmm. but for midday, I can, I can just talk from midday's perspective. I mean, we started this as a side thing for ourselves and then we posted, uh, I posted a tweet one, one year ago. And that design doesn't look at all what we have right now, of course, but this is the idea. I'm thinking about doing this. This is the technology stack I'm going to use. It's going to be fully open source. And I think I had like two, uh, 200 followers back then, which is really good. Barring from, I mean, I started my Twitter account several years back, but just lurking around. But I posted that and got fantastic feedback and made a way, uh, like a landing page. And then the signups just keep going. So. This grew, grew in the back of our heads while we still worked full time. And on late nights and weekends, we just pumped uh, code and design and did the things that uh, we thought were right. And we realized like our tweet made comments and the comments made us realize the things we actually need to focus on. Because when people saying, I see va- value in this, I see value in that, that gives a clear indication like right now we, we're finding the path as we go. Uh, we have a clear like end goal, of course, but we diverging a bit because we get feedback and iterating together with the customers. Starting a bootstrap company from day one, I would just start to to post and see if you get any traction. And based on that, trust your gut feeling. I mean, that's something that I'm constantly get amazed about. Like when something feels right, it's usually right. And if it doesn't uh, feel right, it's not. I mean, and you're learning when it's not right because you're gonna get hit sometimes but you're learning and dialing in the gut feeling, like how you're doing. I think that is the, it's a little bit cheesy, but that really guides us also. Like we should really trust ourselves because you're building up some sort of, I don't know, experience, sharing things and getting feedback. And then you get signups and you, you keep in momentum. And it's like, it's really, really nice to start doing things and, and see how far you can take it. Uh- you know, to bring it closer to home, a few days ago, I was speaking with uh, Zeke from Kijen.sh, a bootstrap 
commercial open source company that does millions and you know he's it's just himself and he was saying that you really got got to believe in it and not give up on your idea and how like if you yeah. check tech twitter today like people tell you basically hey try something quickly you know half ass yeah. it in a month if it doesn't hit move on start something else and he was saying you know for the first year i didn't even make a single dollar and i was like plowing away at this so yeah i, think this I mean that that is of course you can do a lot of products in in a, a short amount of time but that's how i work i mean i i really need to, to to believe in something and trust something and go full into something and so i think that's not for me if it's for you i mean sure do that i mean if that gives value and people start to pay for it of course that is a good uh, a good thing to do but i'm more about building something long term and doing it uh, i would say like really focus on it to to refine it basically that is more for me you just do kind of like land this plane. Are there any mistakes? Like you told us about all the great yeah. things you do that, you know, have made you successful, but like maybe something that was not a good idea that you did that you can share or something you might see other founders do that is like, oh, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm a technical guy. I like shiny new tech, I like new things, right? Uh, I would say, I mean, jumping on uh, tech hype is one thing that could potentially hurt you in the long run. And do the things that are more fun than necessary. That is something mm -hmm. uh, I'm struggling with all the time, of course. I would say really focus on the end goal and take the right decision as, as many times as possible. But with that said, it's also super easy to be hard on yourself. And I think I have been a little bit too hard on myself. That is one thing. Trust the process. Trust, trust that what you're doing is actually worth doing. Otherwise, you will get a little bit crazy in the end. Uh, so I think that is the most important thing. Trust yourself. If you're doing this, I mean, you, you need to trust yourself, but also don't be as hard on yourself. You don't need that. So yeah, those kind of things really focus on the journey because it's really, really fun. Of course, if you have the possibility to run your business bootstrap, own all the decisions. I mean, I'm super free with, with what we are doing and that's a really sweet spot with building a company. So it's finding the, the the balance there, like doing the necessary, but also enjoying it. Very tough balance to maintain, but yeah. critical, critical. Yeah. Just like everything yeah, else, you know, easier said than done, uh, like everything you've yeah. accomplished. I really appreciate the opportunity to have this chat with you. And, and I think everything you shared with us today can be very, very helpful uh, for people like us who are looking to grow their business and their career in tech. Uh, and, you know, as a closer, maybe we can give a call to action to all the people that you would like to try midday. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you are in the sector of like working as a consultant or a small business, I mean, you're probably ending up with needing some sort of system to to be on top of your finance or send invoices or track hours, etc. I mean, give us a give us a shot. If you don't like it, let me know because that's super valuable. That's even more valuable than you if you like it from the beginning because that's gonna dial our end goal even better. Uh, so yeah, it's free right now. Uh, give us feedback. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much once again for making the time. This was uh, really fun. Great Same. talking to you. Thanks Thank you so much. Awesome. Here at the time, we both worked full time as consultants at uh, different startups. And of course, starting a side product, which is, was in the, in the beginning, you can't just jump, jump full time and expect everything to happen, right? So it felt natural for us to say, hey, we figured out, figured out about building this. And based on that feedback and those kind of uh, indications that we got, that kept us going, but also made the momentum, but also gave us feedback to actually jump on this full time, which we did in May this year. So we've been working full time since May. I see them every day and your posts have like hundreds <laughs> of reactions, like, you know, every time. So yeah. To be fair, I think Twitter is basically my, my colleagues. I mean, it's just me and Victor working. He's a designer. I'm the engineer. And it's, a, it's, it's two parts. It's like showing others how I'm doing things. That is giving me the energy and the momentum to actually keep going, but also get validation and new customers, potential customers, because we're solving real problems that others have. And we're realizing that super fast because we got this one-to-one -one communication. And, and sure, I, I have a workflow where I'm, I can share code snippets. I can share videos about the feature and usually do that with a video. And then I use screen flow and show the video when I actually have built the, the like a prototype or even the full fledged uh, um, flow and showing that with screen studio, creating a, a tweet. I can't spell. So I use type fully I press the <laughs> button to fi fix grammar and then post it basically. And the nice thing it's posted on Twitter, but also LinkedIn. So yeah. It's, it's a stream, streamlined workflow for sure. 
I love it. So you mentioned Screen Studio for capturing uh, these nice GIFs and videos, and then you mentioned Typefully for making the post. I, I usually finish something, mm -hmm. something every day. Uh, and I, of course, I, I would say I'm pretty structured. Uh, Victor is also really structured in terms of what we need to do. Where we are in media is basically we are in a beta where we're going to have our version one, which is the promise we have on the website done in one month, roughly. And that means we have invoicing feature left, which is the most highly requested one. So we're sharing bits by bits and we have a workflow with a timeline in Notion. Uh, so I know exactly what I need to do every day. And Victor and I are talking on the phone basically more than I talk with my girlfriend, but we have a lot of, a lot of back and forth. And I think that's make us super, super fast. I like it. Another way of saying this is that like, if you didn't post about it, you didn't ship it. Like, okay, you merge the, okay. right? You merge the PR, but like, if you don't tweet about it, it's like, it was never shipped. And yeah, exactly. And, and people can tell because we are open source, right? If it's not in there, it's not done. Exactly. And not just open source, but also an open startup, right? So what motivated you to do this and how, how do you think it like benefits you as a, as a company? Yeah. To do that? I mean, when I started, it wasn't like, oh, we, we're going to be an open startup because it's, it's like the thing to do, but it's rather like, what do I value in things that I invest in, in sort of systems and platform for my business. And mm -hmm. I think rather than jumping on a, like a huge company that runs like finances or anything. I would rather go with a, a system that is fully transparent, open source, uh, you know, actually the people working with it, you have like. You could potentially have one-to-one -one communication and, and have influence on the product. And you can also see that they are shipping, right? Because you as a company to change the system, that is an investment that you don't want to do that often, right? Because you still just want to do your things and earn money on sending invoices and those kind of things, right? So it felt natural to just be as, as transparent and open as possible. And that solves a lot of like trust, of course but also building a community around Midday. Because we are fully self-founded, it's important to us to actually build a, a solid foundation with four users that we can ask for feedback and have these kind of meetings with because they will help us find a way, basically. I love it. As I mentioned, this is a system that I really, really needed when I worked as a consultant just several, uh, some months ago. So yeah, I, I, I'm not using it as a consultant anymore. I'm just using it for my business to be on top of things. So basically midday is an all-in-one system, all-in-one tool for freelancers and, and micro-businesses, entrepreneurs on top of their finances, connecting a bank account that you already have. 